Okay, welcome back, and this is the uh, end of my Bedini lid motor long run experiment where I ran the motor uh, non stop using a small solar panel, a uh, 2 watt solar panel that put energy into a lead acid battery during the day and supplied the motor and then put uh, more energy into the battery than the little motor consumed by using a device, uh, this switching regulator, uh, switching voltage regulator that let me adjust the voltage down to a smaller voltage and lower amps in order to run the motor and still conserve energy in that battery right there. And this is the week right here. It uh, started last Friday and it was a seven day run with uh, just the uh, two watt solar panel uh, running the Bedini SSG as a motor and then I had a backup power supply this battery right here that I ended up using on this rainy day right here to run the motor and it's a rechargeable a nickel metal hydride backup battery system that after the rainy day was over and uh, this had gathered some more energy from the cloudy sunshine I hooked this back up to the to the motor on the charging side and charged it back up again and that's why this motor to me is valuable is that it has the ability to charge as well as run efficiently and so what happened was after the rainy day I put the motor back to the way it was prior to the rainy day and then charged up this backup battery and today we're at uh, 12.21 on the main battery and this went back up to 12.21 uh, on the main battery right there this one here and this one uh, is back up to where it started at about 2.65 and the motor's still running so, like I say, this would go on and on and on uh, indefinitely depending on how many cloudy days you have in a row. Now, it took a couple of days to get this all balanced back up again to where it was uh, where when we started, basically. But uh, this was successful, and I stopped the motor for a couple of minutes every day and used this uh, super lubricant. It's a uh, Teflon-based super lubricant on the motor and uh, that little permanent magnet motor that sits in here has a bronze bushing on the front and a nylon bushing on the back and using the super lubricant it was able to survive the week but anyway that's the end of my experiment and uh, it was very successful it's what I started out wanting to do was use a small amount of energy um, and run non-stop a motor and that's that's been done